Congratulations on the impressive improvement in the team's performance under your leadership. What changes did you implement that you believe contributed most to the team's success in those final games? Uh, one of the biggest changes is we didn't sit back anymore. Um, developed a high press, which created turnovers, um, more opportunities as far as goals, um, one of the biggest statistics that probably isn't kept in soccer is steals. And um, when you have steals, there, there's transition and it creates more opportunities. Um, the next thing, when they got the ball, uh, make them feel uncomfortable. Don't give them time. Uh, there's a big difference between a high press and containing players. I don't believe in this containing players. Uh, especially when you're dealing with good players, you can't make them think. You can't give them time to think. You can't give them space. You can't give them time. So those were the major differences um, when I came and kind of took over. I know taking over at the end of the season can be challenging. What were some of the key priorities you focused on when you first stepped into the role of the head coach? Um, the key priority is when you step on the field is to win. And um, what kind of plan are you going to have in order to make that happen? So I was once told by a former coach of mine, Gordon Jago, the game is like fractions and inches. So you've got to take those fractions and inches away from the other team to have success. How did you uh, approach motivating the players and maintaining the morale, especially considering the team's struggles throughout the whole season? Well, I'm a, a disciple of Ron Newman. Of course, now we have the Ron Newman Cup. And, um, I learned so many things from him as far as player management and having a good spirit. Um, players smiling and happy in practice, but working hard at the same time. So from the first day, all my coaches could observe the spirit of the team it was lifted uh, to another level. And we were very happy with that phase one going into things. Um, one of the most important things is making sure the players know that you're on their side. Um, I want their input on everything because they're the ones that are playing. Um, and I'm open to suggestions. Um, I don't close my book on anybody. I take everybody's information and we use it because we're in this together. So um, this is one of the things that I learned from Ron Newman is to not have an ego, not have an ego. Reflecting on, on the season as a whole, what lessons have you learned that you believe will be valuable moving forward into the next season? You know, first, I, you know, I talked about the, the spirit of the team and we were right on that success. It was good to have uh, the ice bucket thrown on me um, in the last game. Uh, that was the first time experience as a coach. Um, knowing that um, that I have the players' attention 
And um, as Blas Perez would say, every morning he'll call me legend. <laughs> um, because my past um, uh, dictates a lot whether I've been on championship teams and knowing what it takes to be a champion. You know, whether I've had that champagne at the end of the season and knowing that feeling. Uh, there are a lot of players that haven't experienced that. But what do we step on the field for? It's for that feeling. And um, when I come, I'm not afraid of any team. You know, we're going we're gonna to battle. You know, we're going to work hard. We're going to do the best we can. And, um, you know, the big man is watching upstairs everything we do. And we're accountable. We're accountable. So, uh, you know, we have to seize it every day, every moment, um, and enjoy it. What do you see as the next steps for the Dallas Sidekicks in terms of building on this late season success and preparing for the future? Right now, um, in four games, um, is a good um, cornerstone to what's going to happen in the future. And um, th things are going to get better. Uh, the crowd, they felt our, our energy. Um, they felt the excitement when we won. Um, all the pundits saw the change, saw the spirit of the team. And, um, you know, these are the things that we're going to build upon. Uh, players coming back, new players, hopefully we can have some new additional players that can bring more. And, um, you know, these are the building blocks that we have right now. So, you know, finishing on a good note on the last part of the season, um, you know, we're definitely going to be a better team. Yeah, the fans were definitely uh, thrilled with the improved performance of the team. Um, how do you plan on leveraging the, the momentum to further engage with the fan base and grow support for the Dallas Sidekicks? Well, the number one formula is to win, is to bring the fans back. Um, Win or lose, they're going to know that we're given a 150%. But like I told you, when I step on the field, I'm there to win. There ain't nothing less. Uh, I can't have 1% of doubt because it messes up the 99. It messes up the 99. I can't have 1% of doubt. And that's how I went into these four games. Um, even though we won like three out of the four, but because, you know, Baltimore was a, a little blip. We couldn't play that game, but I took that win. But three out of the four games, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with the, the journey that we're taking. And that's why I'm here today. Yeah. I think fans are a little disappointed we didn't get that first win against Milwaukee. It was a, definitely a high-scoring game that we were definitely in also. Yeah, um... Uh, the officiating in that game um, was kind of suspect. Uh, one point it was nine to nine, and and uh, they they pulled, or well, they had a free kick, and they pulled their sixth attacker. And uh, we got the ball, and they called a foul on us. But um, hey, video review tells it all. Uh, we could have won that game. I think we should have won that game. And um, uh, what's good for me is that that's a measuring stick. Uh, Milwaukee beat Monterey. Um, there are many games where we played Milwaukee and, um, and uh, we did very well against them to the point where we could have won many of those games. But the last game, um, the coach came up to me and goes, Man, the team has changed. Uh, gave me a compliment, but yeah, he wasn't the only coach, too. They saw the difference. 
in your opinion, uh, what areas of the team's performances still require improvement? Uh, and what strategies do you plan to implement during the offseason to address them? Um, you know, it's real simple, um, you know, paying attention to detail. Uh, we got better in keeping the ball, keeping possess possession. Um, we pressed. We scored more goals. We gave up less goals. So the name of the game is the best defense is offense. You know, we're not going to sit back. You know, we're going to attack and then we're going to come back in numbers and make things difficult. So um, uh, one of the biggest things during the season, I, I saw a lot of these guys getting tired. Chasing the ball. When you chase the ball and you get tired, you're a bad defender. Um, when you're chasing the ball, when things are decided in the fourth quarter, you don't have enough to finish it out. So uh, we're going to be a little bit more proficient with our, our energy, our oxygen when we play. And um, when we have the ball, we feel happy. When we don't have the ball, we don't feel happy. So. Looking ahead to the next season, what are your goals and expectations for the team, both in terms of on the field performances and off the field engagement? Um, obviously, the, the sidekicks, uh, they have a pass. And um, the community, community is waiting for us to, to have success. And, um, and they had a taste of it, that those last four games. <coughs> so the, the future looks bright. Um, uh, we got to make sure we entertain the fan and they want to come back and come see us. Um, our goal is to d definitely make the playoffs for sure. I thought we could have made the play playoffs this year. But um, hey, that's the past. And um, I'm, I'm here to win the whole thing. Again, the only reason we step on the field is to win the whole thing. Um, the Monterey's, the Chihuahuas, the Tacomas, and Milwaukee, and Kansas City, um, everybody wants to win. Now we're going to put our name in the hat. But um, building blocks, we got to get better every time. We can't stay the same. And finally, what message do you have for the fans and supporters of the Dallas Sidekicks as you reflect on the season and look ahead to the future? Uh, the message is that we are going to be a, a better team coming next year. We're going to be an exciting team. Um, you're going to see a different Dallas Sidekicks and it's going to be very entertaining. So they need to come watch our success as we grow and get better. And once again, uh, congratulations, and we look forward to the next season with you as head coach. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.